camera number 145 of 365. It's a Kodak ColorSnap 35. And there were various uh, iterations. I believe this is model number one. It's a very simple uh, point and shoot viewfinder with one shutter speed, but uh, you can vary the aperture. So just looking at the front of the camera, we have uh, our focus ring, which focuses from uh, 2.5 all the way up to uh, infinity. It does have a couple of markings to indicate where you might want to put the focus, depending on uh, whether you're shooting um, a landscape, a group of people, or close-ups. So that's quite useful. And then uh, along the other ring, we have uh, our aperture ring, and it has exposure values, EV values, from 10 to 14. And uh, the idea is that uh, presumably we have our light meter, which returns to us an EV value, and then we just simply put, manually input that into the uh, dial there. And that alters the uh, aperture. And then uh, around the final ring, there's a film speed ring, which uh, and a guide to the distance for flash. So depending on what film you're using, you would presumably alter that and then uh, rotate the dial. And that returns to us uh, the correct value for our distance when we use a flash. On the base of the camera we have a tripod mount and our button that releases the film advance so that we can rewind our film. Looking on the other side here, the door catch is lifted up and then that's right, we have to press the button, that's right, it's a bit... Uh, press the button, lift the catch and then we can open the film door. Okay. See the... Uh, Presumably that's connected, the little metal strip there, connected with the flash. So a bit of history there. Load with Kodak 135 film. So it's a 35mm film. The light seals aren't too bad actually. So we'll find out when we put uh, the film through. On the top plate there's a film memo. Various films that have a leaning towards Kodak films, of course. And then we have our uh, film counter, which uh, has to be manually set. The film counter counts down, so if we're using a 24 film, we'd put 24 first and then it counts down. And then our shutter actuation button and film wind on. And then uh, we have an opportunity to do double exposures. So this will allow us to cock the shutter and uh, without advancing the film. So you can do as many as you like, really. So there's no limit to that. So there's plenty of creative control there. So uh, that's pretty much it for this uh, simple but effective photography tool. So that's been camera number 145 of 365.